While lying in my bed, repenting of my sins, I saw a vision of a blood-soaked robe landing at my feet in front of me with that sound. Then I was reminded of the following scriptures. Isaiah chapter 1, 18 through 20. Come now, and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And in Matthew chapter 27, verses 28 through 30, it says, They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, as a king's robe. And after twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand as a scepter. Kneeling before him, they ridiculed him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him repeatedly on the head. Then in Revelation chapter 7, verses 13 through 15, it says, Then one of the elders responded, saying to me, Those who are dressed in the long white robes, who are they, and from where did they come? I said to him, My Lord, you know the answer. And he said to me, These are the people who come out of the great tribulation, and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb, because of his atoning sacrifice. For this reason they are standing before the throne of God, and they serve Him in worship day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will spread His tabernacle over them and shelter and protect them with His presence. Revelation chapter 19 verses 12 through 14 says, His eyes are a flame of fire, and on His head are many royal crowns. And He has a name inscribed on Him which no one knows or understands except Himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies of heaven dressed in fine linen, dazzling white and clean, followed him on white horses. While making this video in my spirit, I heard the word emancipated.